Welcome to IPOB Rapture Media, IPOB Press Release. June 15, 2024. Indiscriminate arrest and detention of Abia youths by murderous army, an ethnic cleansing agenda against Indigbo. The movement and worldwide family of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, led by the indomitable leader Mazi Namdi Kanu, condemns the indiscriminate arrest of innocent civilians in Abia state because of the malicious murder of Igbo soldiers at Obi Kabia Community Junction on 30th of May, 2024. The continuous intimidation, illegal arrest, torture, and forceful disappearance of Igbo youths by the Nigerian army is part of an ethnic cleansing agenda against Ndigbo. After the false flag operation that led to the killing of five Nigerian soldiers at Obi Kabia Military Checkpoint, ABBA, on the 30th of May, Hundreds of Abia youths have been abducted by the unprofessional Nigerian army. Sweeping the city and arresting innocent people in the name of falsely looking for IPOB and ESN operatives is a cover-up against investigation into the slain soldiers incident. IPOB and ESN are not involved in the attack and murder of the soldiers. It is unfortunate that the Nigerian army are belittling themselves internationally because of their hatred they have against Ndigbo. No amount of false flag operations and blackmail will make IPOB retreat in the quest for Biafra independence. The Nigerian government and the Nigeria army knew very well that the attack and murder of the soldiers was a false flag operation by the Nigerian army. IPOB intel have revealed that the aggrieved Fulani's kidnappers dislodged by the demolition of shanties at the Lokpanta cattle market, colluded with some Fulani's in the military command at Aba, carried out the false flag operations on May 30th, during Biafra Heroes Day. In order to create confusion among Ndigbo, the Fulanis in the Abia State Military Command deployed only Igbo soldiers and few Christian soldiers from the Middle Belt region to the marked military checkpoint for this particular purpose. The soldiers were sacrificed for the false flag operation to blackmail IPOB and create an opportunity for the army to invade Abia State. We challenge the Nigerian army to show the world the record of the results of the investigation that showed and records that show the posting of soldiers that day. Let the world see that they destroyed only Ndigbo and Nigeria army and decided to accuse IPOBESN for the attack and murder of the soldiers at the Obikabia military checkpoint on the 30th of May. The murderous Nigerian army murdered their fellow soldiers just to blame this innocent IPOB and ESN movement. The Nigerian army was on a mission to eliminate a large number of Igbo people and Christian soldiers. In that way, it will be easy for their jihadists and terrorists' brothers to fulfill the Othman Don Fodio agenda of dipping the Quran in the Atlantic Ocean. The governor of Abia state should be careful not to fall into the trap of using the false flag operation to set himself against Abia citizens. Permitting the indiscriminate illegal arrest of his fellow citizens will damage his already earned admiration. Governor Alex Audi must be careful of working with retired General Ihajirika, who will turn him against the people to destroy his political ambition. Abia State must not be turned into a war zone as a result of false flag operations that the Nigerian army has adopted to justify the invasion of Abia State. The Nigerian army and their aggrieved Fulanis at Lokpanta want to divert Abia State governor's attention from their malicious agenda. Governor Alex Otti must not allow himself to focus on fighting IPOB and ESN, while the Fulani terrorists and Nigeria military perfect their strategy to destabilize Abia State and frustrate his development agenda. Dr. Alex Otti should look beyond the false flag operation that led to the death of the soldiers at Obikabia military checkpoint, but be careful with his political adversaries before they lead him astray. Indiscriminate illegal arrest of Abia State citizens by the Nigerian army is targeted at pitting him against the citizens. IPOB, therefore, calls on the Nigerian army and the Abia state governor to release all the illegally abducted innocent citizens. The Nigerian army is using intimidation and indiscriminate arrest to force Biafran youths to flee from their communities so that the imported Fulani terrorists invade our communities without resistance. Igbo leaders should stop allowing the massacre of our youths for political correctness when other ethnic leaders are protecting their youths. If the propagandists' Nigerian army thought using false flag operations to blackmail IPOB and ESN would deter us from defending Biafran land against jihadists and terrorists, they are wasting their time.
IPOB and ESN remain resolute and unshakable. Comrade Emma Powerful, Media and Publicity Secretary for IPOB. Please don't forget to support the ESN at www.ipob.org.